Welcome back to the Sip the Tally channel, and this is Coach Evans here. And uh, as most of you know, the summertime is slow on film. Uh, we can't see practices from OTAs and, and things of that nature. We can only see clips. So I decided to embark upon a, a new journey to, to ease the time until we get into the season. And um, Jerry Rice said, make your routes look like a fade until it ain't. And that statement will be the basis of what I look for and talk about in this new series called Sweet Feet on the Sip the Tally channel. First up is Odell Beckham, one of the premier route runners of the league. And um, this series is going to focus on all of the premier route runners in the league. And if I can get film on older guys such as Randy Moss and, and Jerry Rice, I'll dive into that. But to start off with, it's going to focus on Odell Beckham and some of these new age guys that we have in the league right now. Uh, first up is Odell Beckham. And here it is. Sweet feet, guys. I hope you like it. And before we get all the way into um, this Odell Beckham film, I want to give you some stats on him for his, his rookie year in 2014, which all these clips came from. He played uh, 12 games, which he missed four, started in 11 of them, had 130 targets, 91 catches. 91 catches in and missed four games as a rookie. 1,305 yards, averaged over 100 yards a game. All this as a rookie. Odell came in into the NFL league ready. As a rookie, he put up season vet numbers, ran incredible routes, and uh, that's why I picked his rookie year because you're going to see uh, some of all the intricacies of his route running. And uh, he's what Vach would call a, a, a big-time nuance route runner. Let's get into it. Here it is, Sweet Feet, Odell Beckham. All right, so on this first play, let's look at Odell. I'm going to let it play through first, and I'll bag it up. Simply caught a dig route and exploded across the middle. But let's see how he does it and, you know, what he does well to make me say he has uh, sweet feet. Remember, every route should look like a fade until it's not a fade. All right, so he's at the top of your screen. First thing he wants to do is close that gap as fast as possible. Close this gap as fast as possible. So no matter what the coverage is, he's trying to get on this guy's toes and put him in a position where he doesn't know which way he's going left, right, down the field, or whatever. But, you know, in this instance, it's a little bit special because this guy's going to kind of jump the bubble route by another player. But just watch how fast Odell gets on, on top of him and cuts off that break. He's going to put his head down and run. Now, even ha had he been guarding him in some kind of way other than just trying to jump this bubble, he'd been in no man's lane because he never bounced it. He never uh, popped his feet, never put hands on him. But look how crisp, how crisp Odell comes down the line. And Eli hits him with one of his better throws. Yeah, now he just turned the speed on. This part, you just don't teach. You just outrun people. One more time. Watch how he just bursts off the ball. This is one of the more basic routes. Not a lot of nuance to it because of the defense that they were playing. And it's, it really was easy because this guy keyed the bubble and this guy keyed the bubble. So it was just a good call by the... Um, OC and a good read by, by Eli and Beckham, you know, as a whole. And just turn the speed on. Next, we have Odell on a comeback. It's at the bottom of your screen. And he give a lot of new ones at the top of that route to get open. So let's, let's bring it back and slow it down and see what happens. First thing he has to do. Is close this space. This space right here, he needs to close that as fast as possible. Put your head down and run. All right, mission accomplished. Close the space. The gap went from 10 yards to 5 yards in a matter of 15 yards. So the DP got 5 yards back. Odell got 10 yards faster than he got 5 and closed the gap down to 5 yards, if that math makes any sense to you. Now watch what he gives them at the top of this route. Breaking him down, so it kind of puts him off balance. And the guy kind of thinks post. You see him leaning close toward that 30-yard line because he wants to defend that post. Now he sits it down. You can't tell it, but these hips are almost parallel to the ground. They are so low. That's why he can, can stop and turn around so quickly. Now, 
Oh, they'll stop. Let's see if, if the DB takes any more steps back. Another three yards backwards. Odell's coming into his break. So now that five yard cushion he had by closing it is now maybe six or seven. And look how open he is when Eli has a window to throw to him. All because of that new one at the top of the route. I'm going to watch it again at full speed so you can see the, the in and out move he gives at the top of the route. That's it right there. That's it. It's just two steps. Two hard steps to, to put the DB off balance and then come back, you know, with an open route, make the catch, get out of bounds, make it easy for Eli. Now we have Odell at the bottom of your, bottom of your screen right here. He's going to run the corner route out of a bunch of bunch set, trips bunch. Let it go, to, let the live action go. Corner route. Good throw by Eli. Wait a bit to go up and get the ball. But let's see the nuance of, of this route. Again, he has to close this cushion. Has to close this cushion, get on his DB's toes, and then he's going to run at his inside shoulder, which gets him to open his hips to the right just enough to give him a, a quick jab step and then bust out for that corner. Now, the throw's not great, but his athleticism and placement of the ball makes it an easy catch for him. But here it is. Close the cushion first. All right, cushion closed. Now, see how you got that guy turned, trying to defend their post? I don't know. I mean, he must have ran a mean post on him earlier in this game where they saw it on film. But now he's all the way about. Now, what he's going to do is he's going to close it a little bit more and almost throw this guy back when he stick his foot in the ground hard right here and shoot back out to this corner right. And if, that's NFL open because the ball's in the air. I can't tell you exactly where it's at, but I know it's out of Eli hands. But the ball's in the air now. Here it comes. It's right above the 35 yard line. Boom. Simple. Simple. Just that uh at the top of the route. Close it, close it, close it. This hard left step right here. Look at 26. Then took two steps. He got him all the way turned around. Wide open. That's NFL wide open. And get the toe tap. Toe drag swag. One, two. And now we got Odell on a post. Let me let it play through first. So you can see what he does. He's in the slot right above the 20 yard line. They switch to a cover two look. Pop pop. Ooh. Safe to bit on that corner. He did a great job of widening him out with one hard, quick jab step and a head and shoulder fake. Now let's slow it, slow it down and, and talk you through what he does. Again, this is Odell right here. I'm going to try to stop it right on that long jab step that turns to safety. I just missed him. He backed up a little bit. Here he is right here. That one step like he run the corner. Now, because of that one step, watch the safety table. One, two, three, four, and realize, oh, snap. Because right now, everybody knows the player touchdown. Everybody in the stands, everybody on the sideline, even the other safety that should know this play is a touchdown. And he kept it skinny. He didn't cross the, didn't cross the field. That way, he didn't put the other safety in the play. Good job. Good job right there, Odell. That's, that's one of the reasons why we call him Sweet Feet, why he made this cut for Sweet Feet. Watch, just watch how fast he do it. Head and shoulder, he's not going to even slow down. That's a trick. That's God giving. That's one thing you can't really coach. That's God giving. He's going to be able to change directions without slowing down. Wop, wop. It's tough. <laughs> it's tough to defend that. Especially if he didn't hit you with a corner early in the game and you gave it up. That's tough. All right, here we got Odell on a quick out at the bottom of the screen. It's going to give you a little short motion. Easy catch, easy first down. Easy catch, easy first down. Now, nothing real extravagant about this. Just the fact that he turns this out real quick and doesn't give the DB a chance to break on it. Gives you the short motion. He just rolls into it. Look, he's already running the out. Look at the DB still facing that way. That's how quick he sinks his hips and gets in and out of his brakes. 
Now, by the time the guy finally transitions to realizing he's out, ball's out, don't have a chance. Easy. That's pitch and catch all day right there. Pitch and catch all day. And that's simply getting in and, in and out of your break fast, um, sinking your hips so you can transition from straight forward to an out cut that fast. One more time. It says nothing fancy is just knowing how to run routes and knowing how to out leverage, uh, knowing how to outplay the leverage of guys. It's a time and play. Good time and play. All right. Now we have what I would call a a corner route. Let me let it play first. It's gonna go in, up, and out. Wide open. Wide open. Now let's go back and talk you through what happened on this. So obviously this is Odell here at the bottom. He is going to go in, and with him running this little the slant part of this route or whatever you want to call it, the 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 stem part of it, it takes this corner's eyes to whoever's coming in the flats. I think it's going to be this guy coming across the formation going to the flats. So what he's going to do is go in, then work his way up, threatening this safety. He's going to give this safety a hard jab step right at his chest to make him think he's going vertical, and the safety's going to end up running toward the back of the end zone while Odell's going to stick his foot and come out. So there's the end part. Now, you see the corner's eyes focusing on this dude coming to the flats. So he's going to stay, you know, because he got to go out there. He got the flats. It's cover two. Now, Odell presses that, that safety, gives him that hard step that you see right there, and that step is going to make the safety go up the field while Odell's going to explode away from him. Yeah, three more steps up the field, Odell's going in the opposite direction. And it's too easy. It's too easy. He understands leverage. He understands the concepts, and he understands how to, to get guys away from what they want to do. Bop, bop. That little quick jab step in there and made the safety go up the field, and he pushed in and ran away from him. Again, guys, all these clips are from 2014, his rookie season. He came in the league running routes like this, understanding leverage, understanding concepts, knowing how to run routes. Because this route right here, he didn't run full speed. He just ran hard enough to, to set the guy up and run away from him. It, the only time he probably was full speed was when he stuck that foot in the ground and burst away from the guy, which at that point it didn't matter because the safety went up the field. Now, on this right right here, we have a slant. Or there's a top of your screen up here. Live action. What I would like to see him is cross his face and get his body between the defender and the ball. Okay. Nice work off the rock. Nice, nice work off the ball. All right, let's go slow motion in so we can talk about what he did, what he's doing. Again, top of your screen, above the 50-yard line. Let's pause it right here. He's going to give a, a a foot five cadence, trying to get the guy to, to basically to get him to open his hips. Because he still wants everything to look like a fade until it ain't, which is the, the premises of, of what we're looking for. So, moving forward. I got a little foot fire. Let's skip. I'm trying to get him outside. So what all all this that he's doing right here is for one goal only. To get that DB to open his hip so he can cross his face. That's what this is for. To, to make him think he's going outside so he can open that hip and, and give me a doorway to the inside. So does he get that doorway? Right there. See that right foot going back and that hip going open. There it is. Now he has an alley. So I'm going to cross his body. Look how much space he created. The bubble helps with the space too. Look how much space he created against his guy. Now nah, that guy's no even in the picture. Skip. Skip. Foot five. Press the outside shoulder. Open the hips up. Come across. Easy route. Easy. Easy. Anybody that open, even, even Eli, you know, and Eli was still pretty decent back then could hit that guy. But... <laughs> Again, it's 2014, and he's doing this to experienced DBs. All right. Whoever, Coach Demay LSU did a great job, him and, and Jarvis at the same time, unless they just coach each other. And Because some of these things, you, it's just come natural to you. You got a guy, y'all work out, y'all work out together, y'all figure out things and way to get the DBs off and whatnot, and you share it. Shh. That's, hey, it is what it is. Grand finale. And the grand finale. <laughs> just... Just let, it, just let it go. That's all I can do. He at the top of the screen. Mm. 
the greatest catch in the NFL, in my eyes. You, you may have different opinions. If you do, put put it in the comments down below. And uh, even if you have a clip of what you think is the greatest catch in the NFL, uh, load that YouTube. I mean, you know, put that that clip in there so I go back and watch it. But in my eyes, this is the greatest catch ever. And um, as it was happening, I go ahead and let it play again. I was at a friend of mine's house and we were watching the games Thanksgiving night. And they had a couple of them Cowboy fans, and we were just, you know, you know, just shooting the crap. And when this happened, almost every drink hit the floor because we couldn't believe what we saw. Every drink hit the floor and was like thrown in the air because we could not believe what we just saw. Again, this is the greatest catch that I've ever seen with my own two eyes. And let's talk about what happened. Now, with this catch, it probably don't even fit in the sweet feet category because it wasn't anything he did extravagant in the route. He actually gets pressed to the sideline this route, and it ain't bad coverage by, by Brandon Carr. Odell just makes a hell of a catch. And actually, I think it's a little bit of uh, offensive pass in the finish because he grabs Carr and, like, throws him by, I think. So let, let's, let's, let's watch it. Hit the top of the screen. All right, tries to give him some on the out. Didn't give himself enough room to even make the out believable. There's the out. Carr never believes it. So good coverage right there by Carr. Carr never believes the out, so he's sticking with him on the up. Now he's he trying to press him to the sideline and look for the ball, which this is great coverage. You can't even see Beckham right here. Great coverage. Now, some kind of way, he gets away from him right there. How does he get away from him right there? I think he just pulled him by or Carr stopped and lost the ball or something. But now, Carr's holding him. Carr, Carr has his left arm. I'm sorry, Carr has his, his, yeah, his left arm. Wow. Wow. And stayed in bounds. I know this is sweet feet, but this is one of the greatest catches by one of the, the better receivers in the league right now. And um, Cleveland Browns, you got yourself a guy. You got yourself two dudes. Um, Again, this is Coach Jefferson. I don't know what else to say after that. I'm speechless. This is one of the greatest catch I've ever seen in my life. Uh, again, it's Coach Evans. Sip the tally. Presents to you. Sweet feet. New series coming um, once or twice a week. Make sure you uh, hit the Teespring page and get your t-shirt. Uh, Sip the tally films, athlete, and other things on that page you may like. And uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Especially if it's your first time coming. Probably going to get a lot of uh, new subscribers since this is not straight Ravens content. This is Coach Evans from Sip the Tally Films. Make sure you go on over to teespring.com and get some of the merch we have lined up. Get your FTMF shirts, uh, stands for Film, then More Film, or Fruit, Tomatoes, and More Fruits. Then you can pop on over and get your athlete shirt for all those former athletes that mentally we still got it. Physically, we just don't have it anymore. Then you can look, check out the different products I have with the Ravens Roundup design on them. T-shirts, sweatshirts, uh, cell phone cases. All that good stuff. And again, this is Coach Evans, and I appreciate you. Salute.